Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download contact player libraries and I'm going to demonstrate by downloading a free contact player library from a third party. Now for this you're going to need a native instruments account and two pieces of software you're going to need. Number one, native access. This is the hub where everything's going to be downloaded through and of course you're going to need contact player. Eight. Not the full version of Contact. There is a full version of this software that costs a couple of hundred pounds. So bear that in mind, especially if you're buying sample libraries that they work within the free version of Contact. Otherwise, you could be purchasing a library that requires the full version of Contact and having to buy that as well. And also bear in mind which version of Contact they work in. Currently, the latest version is 8. But if you've got Contact Player 8 and Contact Player 9 is out, those Contact Player 9 libraries won't work or might not work in Contact Player 8. So do bear that in mind. And you can download this by getting Complete Start. Complete Start is completely free. So if we click the link, that will then take us to Complete Start. Contact Player is a part of it. Click Free Download. And then because we've already got a count, just press Get Free Software and then and complete start to your account and then that will automatically add it to your account. Now moving into the native access to application. If this is your first time within it, I highly recommend going to preferences and file management and picking your locations for where everything is going to be downloaded to. First, the download location. This is simply where the installer is downloaded. It's deleted right afterwards. I've got it specifically set to my native instruments folder on my external SSD, but you can just have it to your general download folder. Next, application location. I highly recommend having this on your internal computer because it's an application, but for your content location, this is the samples specifically, and sample files can be quite large. I highly recommend an external SSD for this, as I have done there. But once that's all set up, in your applications is where you'll find contact. You'll see I've got the full version of contact 6.8, I've got the contact 7 player, and I've got the contact 8 player there. But let's now download a contact player library from a third party. So for this example, we are going to download Celestial Voices by Sonic Cinema. This is part of the Originals free series of virtual instruments, highly recommend. And as you can see right there, it says works with the free contact player. Now again, if you want to know which version, sometimes you have to scroll and it's in the details and for some reason it's not telling us, but I think it will mention it in the email. So I've clicked right down there at the bottom, I've said free download, then you need to type in your information, then select which instrument you want. I've already got the other three, so we're just going to select Celestial Voices. You do have to subscribe to the newsletter, but you can unsubscribe to it as well afterwards, and then of course agree to the license agreement submit and it will then email you a serial number which will then add to native instruments. So if I go to my emails, now it might take a hot minute but eventually you will get an email similar to this. I've obviously blotted out the serial number because that is specific to me. You will then copy and paste this serial number into native access, click add serial number there, copy and paste it in add serial number, it's been a success, press OK, then if we go home, if I, there we are, it's right there, and then click install, and then that will install itself, and then we go into the contact player, which I'll show you now, because that's now been installed, and there we can see it right down there, that's recently been added, other ways of doing it, if I go to brand Sonic Cinema, and then we can see Celestial Voices right there. Click that, and there you have it. And just to show you, let's open Contact 7 as well, or Contact Player 7, to actually see if it will work in there as well, just to show you what it's like if it's not there. This is Contact Player 7. You can see it there at the top. And if we go to Sonic Cinema, we can see there it's not appearing. So a good troubleshoot if you downloaded the library and you can't find it within Contact Player, the first thing to check is which version of Contact Player you've actually got open. As you can see there with seven, it's not there, it's not working. But if I again go back to my Contact Player eight, you can see it was there, 
and working fine. So do bear that in mind. Now we won't go through the whole process again, but just to show you a couple other examples, Fracture Sounds do a great series of free virtual instruments called Blueprints that all work within the free contact player. I'll leave a link in the description as you can see they're free. And if we specifically, let's just click on the bass guitar, you can see there runs in the free contact player. You're gonna to want to look for that. And if you actually click on it, they've got a link specifically to contact player and it loads contact player eight as well when it eventually does load. So that kind of helps and hints at that as well. Now to show you an example that won't work within the free version of contact, we're going over to sound iron, the Olympus symphonic choir. We can see it's open format. If you come down here, contact full version required. If you download this and only have contact player, it'll work in a demo mode. So bear that in mind. Again, down here, contact 4.2 or later, full version required. Do look for that. Sometimes it is in the details. Um, but hopefully that's been very helpful. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover, or if there's anything I've missed that you want me to go through in another video. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.